In this video, I want to show you how to do something that's called a scroll bar. A scroll bar is going to allow you to scroll a cell um, through a, a big range of numbers. Okay. So first of all, you have to make sure your developer menu is turned on. Let me show you how you turn that on if it's not already on. Some of you will have the word developer up there and some of you won't. If you don't, this is how you turn it on. You pick on the file menu and under file, you pick on the options. Now under options, you pick on the word customize ribbon. And then over here, you make sure the word developer is checked. If it's not checked, you will make sure you check that. So you picked on um, file and then options. Within the options, you picked on the customize ribbon. And then you make sure the word developer is checked like that. Then we click on OK. And notice how the developer menu is now up there. Now let me show you what we call a scroll bar. I'll pick on your developer menu and I'll pick on insert. Now I like the one that's the active X control. To me, it just works better. So look where my mouse is going to go. You go to the third, uh, the last one on the third row. When you move your mouse there, it should say scroll bar active X. That's the one I like to use. I'm going to click on that. Then you move your mouse to what, where you want that to appear. I'm going to click right over here. And then you can see what we call a scroll bar. Notice how we'll be able to scroll that one up and down. Well, just by doing that, that's not enough. We have to tell it how to make it work. To make it work, make sure it is selected like mine is. Then you come up here on your developer menu and you pick on the word properties like that. Good. Then you get this other window. Now, um, what I like to do is I like to put them in alphabetical order. To me, the categories don't make a ton of sense. I'd rather have them in alphabetical order. Most of the properties are about its appearance. Like you have one that's called back color and for color. So feel free to experiment with those. But here's the properties that really make it work. The max is its upper limit. So let's say for that principal amount, uh, I'm just making up a number here. Let's say $1 million. Let's say $2 million. And then for the minimum right here, that's the lower limit of the scroll bar. And I'll type in 50000 now, a really important choice is the linked cell. That means what cell is going to be adjusted with the scroll bar. You have to type it in. Uh, you, can't, you, you can't click on the cell there. You have to type it in. I'll type in A4. So, for the, for the linked cell, I have A4. For the max, I have 200,000. And for the min, I have 50,000. Those are the properties that really make it work. Most of the other properties are about its appearance. Now, when, when I'm done with this window, I'll click on the, the uh, well, I'll make sure I'm back on that window, and I'll pick on the X to close that. Right there. Good. The way we got to that window is I was on the scroll bar. See how it's selected. Then I picked on the word developer, and I picked on the word properties. The three properties that are important are the linked cell. Here I have A4. For the max, I have 200,000, and for the min, I have 50,000. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the X again to close that window. Now, what you have to do is to make it work, you have to leave design mode. You can tell you're in design mode because that icon is a different color. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and that'll take me out of design mode. Now, follow my mouse. I'm going to come over here, get the uh, rectangle on the scroll bar, and drag that up and down. You see? And now notice how A4 is going up and down. By the way, that's also changing the monthly payment because the monthly payment has a formula that looks at cell A4. So when cell A4 changes, that'll change the monthly payment as well in the spreadsheet. So we just made this uh, that easier to work with uh, because of the scroll bar. Now, if you want to change it, what you have to do is go back into design mode. So I'll pick on the developer menu and I'll pick on the word design mode again. You can tell you're in design mode because now that I can change to a different color. Then I click on that, make sure to select it, and then you go back into your properties. So that's how you would change it when you wanted to. And there's the properties window once again. All right. Uh, so that's what we call a scroll bar. One, one thing that you might want to change is um, the large change and the small change. The large change is when I scroll that um, the uh, rectangle up and down, 
and the small change is when I use the arrows. So for the small change, I'll change that to say 1,000. And for the small change, I'll change that to say 100. So remember, the small change is when you actually click on the arrows. And the large change is when you drag the uh, rectangle up and down. I'm going to go ahead and close that window with the X. Now you have to leave design mode. So I'll pick on the word design mode. See how if I hit the down arrow, now it's going up by 100. That was the uh, small change. Before it only was going up and down by one. And then if I use the uh, the rectangle, then, then it's going up uh, up and down as you can see. So that's what we call a scroll bar in Microsoft Excel. The way we started that was with the developer menu. I picked in the word insert. And then I like this one over here under the active X uh, category. It just gives you more flexibility. All right, so that's what we call a scroll bar in Excel.